in the same place that I know and known forever. Nothing has changed. Oh yes, it has changed. The animals are getting on board. They're getting on board. The ones that didn't work was Noah and his family. Notice God did not use angels. Job would have been a whole lot better. They could have done a better job getting that ark ready. They could have got it all fixed up a whole lot better. If God would have said, okay, now you angels go down there, fix up this ark, get it ready, boom, we're ready to go. It took, they say, Noah over a year to build the ark. You say, why? He's a preacher. Preachers are very, very slow creatures. It took me 15 years to build that church in a common. 15 years. Started with about many people we got right now. Maybe even a little less. 15 years. And they're out there seeing Noah and the boys and the girls all helping out. You know, you can't sell that as corn. You know, if you'd grow corn instead of building that ark, you'd make more money. You know, if you grew some peas or something else or some cattle, you'd make some money. Why are you wasting all your time building an ark? Because God told me to. People will judge you. They judge no. You know what they judge no on? How dare you go about doing God's business? Why are you telling people to come to church? Don't you know this guy's crazy? He's a, new, he's a lunatic. Look at him. He's building a big ship. And there's no water for the big ship to go. He's a, he's a nut! To the last day. Then everybody had to make a decision. Do I get on board or do I stay? The ones that got on board lived, which was Noah and his boys. That was it. That was it. 120 years to the flood came. 120 years. Can you imagine the same message for 120 years of me coming up here and saying, Jesus is coming back. Jesus is coming back. You know what I've said for the last 20 years? Jesus is coming back. Jesus is coming back. Jesus is coming back. Guess what? One day, he's coming back. Amen? Could be today. How many Sundays have you heard me say that? It could be today. Amen? Every Sunday, I say, Jesus could be coming back today. That solve a whole lot of problems for me. Probably solve a whole lot of problems for you, too. It took him a long time. He said, why? Mercy, God. God gave them a special time period of 120 years for them to make up their mind. Are you going to get on or are you not? Life went on. They got married. They had babies. They were still killing. They were still getting drunk. Everybody was still doing whatever everybody does, you know, during that time period. And uh, the only ones that God made a special covenant with was with Noah. He says, I'm going to spare you and everybody that gets on the boat. Ark is a picture of Christ. If you get in, you save. After all the animals walked in, down to the third floor, it was smelly on the third floor. It stunk. You say, why? It's a whole year's of poop. That's where all the stinky Christians are. Mm -hmm. They stink. Mm -hmm. They're still going to heaven, but they smell. They're going to go to heaven, but they smell. Mm -hmm. So after all that time, 
God built the door. He said built the door on the outside. And don't put a lever on the inside to lock it. Put the lever on the outside. He said, well, God, how am I supposed to lock this thing? He said, you don't have to worry about it, son. He says, I'm going to lock it. You know what God did? After all the animals were in, and God said, time's up. He closed the door. See, nobody realizes when their last chance is. Everybody that goes to hell does not realize this is it. Final chance. Last chance. 120 years.